The Royal Rumble is one of the biggest events WWE has each year, in terms of it being a spectacle, and just because of how many wrestlers appear on the show. Like any competition though, some people win, and others lose. So let's look at the biggest winners and losers at this year's Royal Rumble. First up, who had the most eliminations? In the Women's Royal Rumble, that honor goes to Rhea Ripley. Entering at number 14, the NXT star spent a decent amount of time in the Royal Rumble, which gave her plenty of opportunities to make eliminations. Ripley's size was another reason she was able to throw so many opponents over the top rope. This dominance also allowed Rhea to be one of the final two women in the match. Of course, she ultimately got eliminated, but even though Rhea Ripley can't call herself the 2021 Royal Rumble winner, she can take home the title of most eliminations. Over on the Men's Royal Rumble, we have a tie for most eliminations. Both Big E and Seth Rollins threw a total of four men over the top rope. Like Rhea Ripley, Big E entered fairly early in the match, and he lasted about 30 minutes, which gave him plenty of time to make eliminations. Also, the guy is just huge, which helps a lot in a Royal Rumble. Seth Rollins, on the other hand, was the second to last person to enter the Men's Royal Rumble. Even so, the Monday Night Messiah played it smart and hit on the outside. Once he had an opportunity, Rollins took it, which allowed him to blindside his opponents and easily eliminate them. While neither Big E nor Seth Rollins won the match, they didn't leave the Royal Rumble without leaving their mark. Changing gears, who lasted the longest in the 2021 Royal Rumble? On the women's side, the 2021 Iron Woman was Bianca Belair, who lasted 56 minutes and 52 seconds. While Bianca didn't start the match, she joined shortly after the bell rang by entering at number three. As you likely know, Belair wound to win the entire Royal Rumble, which doesn't make it too surprising that she'd also be the participant who stayed in the match the longest. While there were some close calls, Bianca Belair fought her way through, and it certainly paid off. In the Men's Royal Rumble, we have another tie. Both Edge and Randy Orton lasted for the exact same amount of time, 58 minutes and 28 seconds. The former Raid RKO teammates started at one and two, and were also the final two participants. Between them, Edge definitely deserves the title of Iron Man because he was active in the Royal Rumble the entire time, unlike Randy Orton, who was taken out early on due to injury. While the Viper tried to slip in at the very end and snag the victory, Edge didn't allow all his hard work to be for nothing and eliminated Randy to win the match. Even though the Radar Superstar was the ultimate winner, he and Orton both earned the honor for most time spent in the Rumble. Alright, we saw who the biggest winners were, but who are the biggest losers? First, let's see which wrestler got eliminated the fastest in the Women's Royal Rumble. That honor, or perhaps dishonor, goes to Carmella, who only spent 47 seconds in the match. Not only did the Queen of Staten Island lose her SmackDown Women's Championship match, but she also got eliminated the quickest. Making it even sadder, Carmella even had Reginald to help her out. To be fair, their strategy probably would have worked if it had been for Tamina super kicking Carmella's sommelier. Well, at any rate, one thing Carmella can say is that she still lasted longer than the fastest elimination in the Men's Royal Rumble. Speaking of which, that title goes to The Hurricane, who only spent 30 seconds in the match. Even though he looked like a superhero, the Hurricane wasn't packing any powers, besides a couple of pokes to the eye. When the masked wrestler tried to go for a double choke slam, Big E and Bobby Lashley didn't go for it, and lifted Hurricane up and over the top rope. Better luck next year, I guess. Did you watch the 2021 Royal Rumble? If so, let us know what you thought of it in the comments. Then hit up the video on the left on funny Royal Rumble bloopers. Shout out and thank you to the Gamerest for leaving this comment on that video. Until next time, I'm Zach from Tap Out Corner, and take it easy.